So I want to get the first Manchester United fan. I'll remember that number again. It's 03717 And stepping up to that particular hockey now is Naz, who's a Manchester United supporter. Hi, Naz. Uh, hi, Danny. Uh, another win for United. What do you want to say? Uh, well, for me, it's clear we're in decline. We've been in decline for a long time. Well, at least as Ferguson left. For me, if you don't start your best player, and he is by far the best player the club has, irrespective of his age, then your chances of winning are definitely going to be reduced. So the game is all about scoring goals. And you've got the goal scorer, why wouldn't you play him? OK, well, look, that's a very good question, Naz, and it's one that's been discussed much here on Trans-Europe Express over the past two years, um, even when we weren't a phoning. And Andy... The point we've been making is that it's a tricky one because the evidence for your own eyes is that Cristiano Ronaldo is by far the best finisher that Manchester United possess. And yet yeah. statistically, teams he's been in in, rec in the recent times have not been as efficient as they would hope to be. You know, the stats seem to say, you know, he's perhaps a slight drag on your team because of the way the modern game works. And yet we all know that the incredibly important thing is to get the ball over the line, of which he is still clearly Manchester United's most potent weapon. Uh, yeah, and I think Naz's point holds over time uh, in, in terms of um, the, the fact that he, he, we know that the class is permanent and that he's, he's a great finisher. However, he's, he's not been a great finisher this season. I think that's a bit of an issue. The fact that um, because there was so much speculation over his future going into the start of this season... Um, it didn't feel like he had a full preseason. Of course, he had time off due to family matters, all the rest of it. He has not looked sharp this season for United or for, for Portugal. Now, I guess you can say he's still been getting in the spots. But, you know, until today, he's not actually looked like the threat that we expect of him when he's on the pitch. Like, forget the all-round play for a minute. And clearly, that's going to be a medium-term issue for United. I mean, I tend to think the way that Eric Ten Hag is is changing things, is going to be more gradual. You look at the signing of Casemiro and that suggests that he's a realist rather than an idealist going into this season. You know, he's not going to be able to play like um, Ajax 2019 at the moment. You know, it's going to take time to get United playing like he, he wants to play. And so why shouldn't Cristiano Ronaldo be part of it? But the fact is, they're still getting him up to speed. Maybe, maybe today's the first step in that.